how to build a high status social media profile that works for networking and making friends with other cool guys, business partnerships, that type of thing. And then also, of course, for the purposes of meeting and ultimately dating beautiful, high quality women. So for better or worse, the fact of the matter is that today your social media profile, in this case, your Instagram profile is like your resume. It's like your business card. It's a representation of you. And let's take a look at how my Instagram would work for business. We're going to focus on dating in a second, but just, you know, let's talk about something that for some of you may even be more interesting. How does a high quality or high status Instagram help from a networking, making friends, business, you know, partnership thing from like that point of view? So if I was to DM a random guy on Instagram, say, hey, I'm an online dating coach. I can help you out. He's going to go, who is this random guy who's claiming, you know, who, who is he? He's got a blue check next to his name. Let me check out his profile. What's the first thing he's going to see? He's going to see a testimonial from Myron Gaines, the number one red pill helping men improve it. He's like the number one, number two guy in this entire space right now. Okay. I have a testimonial from him. He's also going to see me on his podcast, on the Fresh and Fit podcast, the number one men's podcast in the world. He's going to see me on yacht parties. He's going to see three to one penthouse parties. He's going to see photos and videos of me actually dating certified nines and tens. He's going to see other testimonials. He's going to see a link to a YouTube channel that provides even more proof. Okay. So now I'm not just this random weirdo who DM'd him. I have the social proof to back it up. Okay. And even because of this, I've been uh, invited on other guys' podcasts. I've collabed with Austin Holloman, 100K uh, on YouTube. I've collabed with Alex from Playing With Fire, 200K on YouTube, obviously fresh and fit. So when you have a really high status social media profile, uh, people find you. And also when you outreach to people, you have instant social proof, instant authority, I guess would be a better way to say it. So we've kind of talked about that aspect of like the business networking thing, which again, some of you guys might find even more interesting, but again, this is my channel and the bulk of my content is about dating high quality women using uh, the internet, Instagram automated system. So let's talk about that. When a random girl gets a follow from me, so like I like a bunch of her photos and I follow her, actually it would, it would be my, my online dating virtual assistant who automates this and does this for me. More on that. We're about to get into a nerdy training that I record on my laptop. So we're about to cut into like me going into my laptop and screen sharing you and showing you in like hardcore detail how all this stuff works and the step-by-step -step stuff. And again, you don't have to make a YouTube channel or you don't have to collab with Fresh and Fit. I'm going to break it down to a point where it's repeatable for, for every guy and watch to the end because my best advice comes at the end. But the same thing for a woman, right? Now, I use a different profile for dating than I do on my red pill profile. I wouldn't put, you know, Myron Gaines and me on yacht parties for meeting women. I use a different profile. And on those profiles, a random girl who gets a follow from me or a DM from me, what's she going to see? Me giving a speech to a room full of people. Me at the nicest restaurants in her city with a cool, sexy group of friends. She's going to see funny video content that I made in her language. So if I'm in, you know, uh, a Spanish-speaking country, it'll be in Spanish. If I'm in Brazil, it'll be in Portuguese. Me showing off my personality in a funny way through video content so I don't have to rely on my perfectly symmetrical face or my enormous bulging biceps that I clearly don't have, but I can use personality to attract her. She's going to see me just in general, you know, living, living my best life, out with friends, doing fun stuff, uh, shooting range, limousine, et cetera, just, just living it up, right? So I think you guys get the point. You know, this is how you're perceived. You contact somebody on Instagram and they're immediately going to start evaluating. Who is this person? Do I want to connect with this person? What do they have on there? It's a hassle to go out and take photos. I know that, but I'm going to break it down right now in this training to, to a point where you kind of have no excuses. Uh, you just got to kind of get it done. And like I said, the rewards from this are amazing. So stick around and watch this video. If you have the attention span of a goldfish, just click off now. But if you want to meet and network and do business with other cool guys. If you're in a new city, you want to make friends or even in your same city, just amplify your social circle, meet more people. And of course, meet and date gorgeous, high quality women. Even if you're a five that likes to date tens, watch this training. I'm going to jump into my laptop and we'll go into it right now. Okay. Welcome everybody to the five step guide to building a high status social media profile. So what you're going to learn by the end of this quick and concise video is how to look like James motherfucking Bond on your dating apps and social media. So this will obviously get you the attention of high quality women, but also it will help you network with other high status men. Now, when it comes to meeting and dating high quality women, I know a thing or two about that. I'm also qualified to talk about networking with some pretty high status folks. And if you apply everything that's in this video, you might get the attention of some very high status people and be invited to go on some pretty high level podcasts. 
So the number one most important thing coming out the gate strong here is you must add charming video content to your profile if you want to have this high status social media profile that gets you attraction from women. So charming video content. What do I mean by that? Well, you could in a video format, right? Be going on some entertaining rant, telling an interesting story, doing something unique or cool. Maybe you won a martial arts tournament. Maybe you're DJing a set in front of a group of people. Or the easiest way to do it is it could just be something easy to record, a selfie video that's something funny. And actually, I'll show an example of that right now. Hey guys, just a quick reminder that, you know, this life is so beautiful. It's so amazing. It has so much to offer, but it's just way too short. So make sure for every precious second you have of life on this earth, you spend as much time as possible on your phone. Because the truth is, you can't take your phone with you when you die. Okay, so as you can see, this whole, you know, charming content thing doesn't have to be complicated. A simple selfie video like the one you just watched works incredibly well. So you guys could literally just steal this and copy it and record your own version of that. And the reason why this works so well, and we'll show my results in a second, is that it instantly transforms you from just like flat, you know, two-dimensional JPEG pixels on a screen into a real person. Because from an image, you have no idea, you know, what language you even speak, uh, how you talk, what your language patterns are, the confidence, humor, charisma, but when you post one of these videos, now all of a sudden, they've heard that. They've seen the charisma. They've seen the subtle, uh, you know, sly smile and the delivery and the confidence in your voice. You become instantly relatable and you create attraction with women using your personality rather than your looks. So the less physically attractive you are, the more you have to focus on lifestyle and charming, funny, high status video content to create the attraction since a photo just won't do it if you're not that good looking, right? Now, ever since I implemented this charming content and started pinning it to the top of my Instagram, this doubled the percentage of beautiful women who accept my follow request on Instagram and follow me back. So quick aside, I have a full-time uh, online dating virtual assistant. This is a woman in the Philippines that I pay $5 an hour to. And every day my VA, my virtual assistant, follows 20 women and on average about seven of them follow me back. So these are completely random women that she finds on Instagram that live in my area, which is currently Sao Paulo, Brazil. She just follows them out of the blue and about seven, eight, six, you know, just depends on the day of these women follow me back. And ever since I added the charming content, it doubled, if not tripled, the amount of women that would follow me back. Also because the content is in Portuguese and it confirms that, you know, even though I'm a gringo, I speak Portuguese. And I've seen similar results for my students as well. So guys, do the charming content. That's the most important takeaway from this video. And as you saw, I already gave you one example that you can rip off and implement today. The next thing, oh, sorry. This is the power of a high status profile with charming content is like all the girls will want to, you know, follow you back. Okay. The next one, focus on presentation in your photos, good presentation. So I'll do an example with food and then I'll do an example with human beings. So this is the exact same food. Once it hits your taste buds, it's exactly the same. They're both chicken Parmesan yet. The one on the right hand side is presented in photography, a lot better than the one on the left. It's brighter, it's colorful, more high resolution, etc. So now we'll show the example with humans. Again, we have the exact same thing. We have two human beings that are sitting in a chair, yet why is the guy on the left look so much cooler than the guy on the right? He has a much better presentation, which we'll talk about on the next slide, are lighting, fashion, grooming, and location. And by location, I mean a luxurious location. So as I go through these photos of, you know, random people, this is actually a client, a friend of mine, Stephen, but whether it's Stephen, whether it's myself, or whether it's another random guy, every single one of these photos has nailed the core four, which is lighting, fashion, grooming, and location. I'll say it again, obnoxiously. I want to drill this into your brain. Lighting, fashion, location, grooming. Lighting, fashion, location, grooming. That is how you take a good quality photo for dating apps and social media. Next, you must post the right types of photos to show off your lifestyle. So number one, you need at least one high resolution portrait shot. Portrait shot means that you are in focus and the background is blurry. And as you can see here, I've done that here. 
And it's taken from about like maybe like belly button or mid chest to the top of the head, you're in focus on a high resolution camera. The next shot you need is a hobby shot. Presumably this guy likes surfing, but it could be any hobby of yours, cooking, uh, martial arts, gym, uh, playing in a band, whatever it is. Uh, the group shot. Now, remembering the core four of lighting, fashion, grooming, location, these gentlemen have nailed that. Uh, it looks like they're about to go up into the private jet and do a business deal at 50,000 feet. Uh, a high value activity, you know, I like speaking uh, on stage. It's an easy shot. You can rent out a seminar room, fill it with friends, stuff like that. And it just shows what success, uh, wisdom, confidence, knowledge, uh, you know, like you're talking to a group, group of people, you know, public speaking is intimidating. So if you can do that, you must be a confident, secure guy. But again, you know, could be, like I said, uh, playing an instrument in front of a bunch of people, accepting some type of award, any type of high value activity will bode very well. The next one is physique shot. Only show the physique if you have a physique worth showing. And if you're kind of on the border of like, oh, my physique is kind of good. Should I do it or not? You could definitely do some easy tricks with Photoshop to just, you know, give you that 20% boost. And a physique shot will help your results dramatically. Trust me. Number four, I'll go through these real quick. Avoid the common mistakes. Uh, the number one most common mistake is low quality photo. So again, this is a big one. Pay close, close attention to this one. You will be judged by your worst photo. Just one bad photo can do can ruin everything. And we do it to women as well. We've all been swiping. We're like, oh, damn, she looks good. She looks good. She looks good. Then you get to the last photo where she's not in perfect lighting, using a lot of makeup and with a filter. And you're like, oh, shit, that's what she actually looks like. And you swipe left. So remember, we do it to women. You get judged by your worst photo. So imagine from a girl's point of view, she's like, okay, okay, I like it. It's good so far. Good so far. Then she gets to this abomination and she goes, oh, damn, this guy should be on Grindr instead of Tinder. Or she arrives on this photo and she goes, ew, he's ugly, right? So only post, you know, your best photos. If you only have six good photos, only post six photos. Common mistake, sunglasses, don't do it. Girls don't like it. They can't see your face. Uh, don't pose, you know, tacky. I'm so cool. You know, you're with a bunch of ladies. Uh, if you are going to post yourself with ladies, do it from far away. So you get the value of having beautiful women in the photo, but you're kind of removed. Nothing controversial. Save the Trump memes for another day. No private profiles. Uh, you know, I, I follow beautiful women and they follow me back. If you have a private profile, you're done. Basically, zero will follow you back. Uh, weird, like main pictures. Don't do it. Uh, excessive travel stories, right? I see a lot of like uh, my students do this who are like passport bros like me. If you have like these excessive like, oh, I bet, you know, Da, 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 da. Toronto, Bogota, Medellin. That is to use a traveling fuckboy that, you know, no long-term potential. No photos of landscapes or anything that aren't you. Uh, no, so, no, like, all solo shots. That's a big mistake here. And I see this kind of style to kind of pick on this profile a bit more. There's, like, this trending style that says, like, take all your photos from super far away and, like, color grade them to shit. Uh, don't do it. Uh, the girl can't see your face clearly. Uh, the color grading is, ex uh, you know, way too um, excessive. And like, what is a girl to make of this? Like, I am the walking man. Sure, I have no friends. Sure, I have no hobbies. But my legs are so toned and my cardio. Like, no, just don't do that. Uh, don't have a group shot as your main photo on a dating app. No go. Uh, no douchey mirror selfies. This is a good photo to send girls like, she's like, hey, you know, what are you up to? I'm like, oh, you know, just at the gym so I can stay looking sexy for you. And you like send her this photo. Uh, that's cool. That builds value. But like, not as like, you know, your main not on your main profile, right? Another common mistake is not stating where you live if you're a passport bro. So if you're, even if you're in Cali for two weeks, you know, Cali, Colombia, if you're in Cali, Colombia or Cali, Colombia for two weeks, just put, I live permanently my life in Cali, right? So, you know, she sees long-term potential. Otherwise you're going to cut yourself off from a lot of girls. And another common mistake is like, dude, nothing creepy, nothing weird, nothing low status, no negativity, no posting your pet tarantula, no crying about your ex-girlfriend or your life situation or complaining, right? No, no negativity. All right, number five, how to set up your bio to have a high-status social media. Okay, so uh, you want to have at least, um, or sorry, you want to use the high-res portrait shot as your main picture, like, you know, like the little photo when someone sends a follow request and it has like their little, like their main like image at the top. That's your high-resolution uh, portrait pic. And in your bio, you want to mention the following, where you live, how you make money, and something that's interesting or unique about you. So for me, I put, this is in Portuguese, I put living in Sao Paulo uh, before, you know, Medellin. Uh, 
English, Spanish, Portuguese. That's my interesting fact is that I'm trilingual. And what I do for money, event planner, networking god, and digital marketer. Okay, so not only am I stating what I do, but I'm phrasing it in a cool way. So if like if you're a pharmacist, you can say like if you're a pharmacist in Los Angeles, you can be, you know, uh, you know, uh, West Hollywood, like the little pin for West Hollywood. Uh, you can say uh, legal drug dealer, right? <laughs> and then you can put in parentheses like pharmacist. And then your interesting fact, you know, I don't know, you could put, uh, you know, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, or you could say, um, you know, 25 countries and counting, I don't know, something like that, right? Uh, story highlights, okay, how to set up your story highlights. Very important that you have, you know, some travel in there. Traveling is a high status attractive thing. Hanging out with friends that you have a social life, even if it's just like, you know, you filming the table, you don't necessarily so show yourself, but you're showing, you know, the food and your friends, he's out and about social, that's cool. Uh, more of the charming content, you know, going on interesting, funny rants, doing cool stuff. Uh, you can film your your Airbnb or your luxurious, you know, apartments, like the little tour. You know, Instagram is a flexing app. Uh, any events you've attended, et cetera. You want to have some, you know, nice, cool story highlights. And at the top of your profile, you know, you get to pin three things. Here's five ideas of what you can pin. But it should be overall the more, the most charming and attractive stuff because that's what they're going to see first, right? So especially if you're not like, you know, a super good looking guy like me, if you're kind of like more normal looking five, six out of 10, something like that, you must have some charming content pinned to the top because they're going to rely on that, your confidence, your delivery and your humor and the way you tell a, a cool story with like the punchline at the right time. And it's so surprising and shocking. We're going to use that charming content pinned to the top to create attraction. So that's very important. You're also going to need a high resolution portrait shot taken uh yeah on the dslr camera ideally like you know from like like this part like you know nipples to top of the head so they can clearly see exactly what you look like and again this is gonna be good lighting dressed well luxurious location well groomed following the core four if you have it a physique shot and a physique shot could like you know um satisfy both of these uh, a high value activity perhaps you speaking on stage winning an award winning a martial arts tournament playing a musical instrument for a group of people something like that showing off your music etc. And perhaps a hobby would be good to pin to the top. Now the blue check, it's 100% optional and not necessary, but it definitely does give you an extra boost. You'll just kind of stand out more as like these beautiful women are getting like all these follow requests, a blue check can stand out. Should you buy followers? Only if you have extremely low followers like sub 500 and just buy four to 500 max. Otherwise, it's going to be obvious that you bought them. All right. The main takeaways, because we went pretty quickly here, you can screenshot this, okay, so you remember it. Focus on the core four of presentation, which is good lighting, good grooming, good fashion, and a good location, aka a luxurious location, all right? Uh, the high-resolution portrait, hobbies, group shots, high-value activities, and above all, your charming content. So screenshot this so you can come back to this. Uh, avoid the common mistakes, sunglasses, other women, having a private profile, and low-quality photos. And set up a concise bio that mentions where you live, how you make money, and something interesting about you. All right, guys. So if you want to connect with me or learn more from me on all my socials, I'm just Redbeard Rants or Redbeard Rants 1 sometimes if the regular Redbeard Rants was taken. Uh, you're watching this video on YouTube. This video is hosted on YouTube. So uh, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. You'll see all my other free content. I go even nerdier and even more in-depth with a lot of my YouTube videos. So we cover all types of other topics. So follow me on, on YouTube, learn a lot more. Uh, also follow me on Instagram. It's redbeardrants1 on Instagram and I'm redbeardrants1 on TikTok. Now for guys who are super serious about, you know, really connecting with me and seeing ways that I can help you, just DM me on Instagram, which is, you know, redbeardrants1. There's also a link uh, in the description of this video that'll take you directly to my Instagram. Just message me the code word flamingo, just that, flamingo. Just text me out of the blue, flamingo. And that lets me know that you've self-qualified yourself as someone who's highly interested to connect with me and see if there's a way I can possibly help you with your dating life, meeting and dating high quality women, going more in depth on this high status social media, et cetera. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Remember to please follow me on all socials for more free, helpful content. And that is the end of the trading. Peace.